Hey everyone, this is Miko from the Permanent Empire and I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this video. I want to thank those of you who have recently liked, commented, shared, or even subscribed to my channel. I want to let you know that I really do appreciate it. And I ask that if you have not done any of those things so far, that you go ahead and feel free to do so today. All right, so in today's video, I want to jump right in here and start getting things rolling with you getting your business started. Listen, we are going into the last month of the year. This is it. We're about to head into a new year, and this question comes up all the time. This is a conversation piece about getting your business started. Now, listen, I understand it. I talk about permit running from a standpoint of someone who's been doing it for a few years now. I've been doing it for quite a quite a while since 2018. I jumped out there, right? So I'm talking about it from the aspect of someone who's seen different things happening in the industry. I've had different scenarios that I've been a part of. So yes, I get it. To me on my end, talking about it, it may be more, you know, I'm talking about it like it's simple. It's simple. It's simple. But I want to have you look at it from a standpoint where it's also simple, right? I want you to see how you can jump out there and get your business started. Like I said, we're going into a new year. Let's go ahead and get that business started. And I want to simplify just a little bit for you to get out there and get started. First things first, you need to go ahead and get a business name set up. Now, yes, if you've heard any of my other videos, I may have said before that you don't need an LLC and all of those things to get started. And I stand by that. But you still do at least need to have a business name. You should be registering with your state that business name. You should at least have something established for your business, some type of name for your business, right? Because truthfully, if you're going into business, you need to go ahead, get that thing started, go into business as an actual business. So go ahead and at least get your business registered, your business registered with your state. With that, establish a business name for your business, right? Because you're setting up that entity to not run as you, yourself, the individual, but to run as an individual itself, as a business itself, right? So you want to go ahead and get that business registered with the state. It's a simple process. It's something that you can actually do yourself. In a lot of cases, each state is a little bit different, but for the most part, registering with your state is a application that you fill out. It's asking for your information, it's asking for your proposed business information as well. And these is these are usually things that you can't answer because, of course, it's asking about you. So first things first, like I said, go ahead, get your business set up, get a business name, get it registered with the state, right? Because this is the first step in the right direction. It doesn't cost you a whole lot of money to do that. And hey, like I said, it is the first step in the right direction. Now, my next thing that I definitely I always advise everyone to do is go ahead and get your social media set up. Now, I understand that for the most part, people usually or they tend to want to go and get a website designed and get it developed and get all of those things going. But the reason I say number two is set up your social media presence for your business is because guess what? It's free. It doesn't cost you anything but some time to sit down and actually set up a Facebook and Instagram, a TikTok, LinkedIn. It doesn't take anything but your time to get those things started. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Whereas a lot of times when something costs us, it may make us stop. It may make us take a pause with going forward because it costs money. And there's a lot of reasons that we may not have the money. There's a lot of reasons that we don't get those things taken care of. But for the most part, a lot of times it causes us to pause when it costs us money, right? So go ahead and get your social media set up. It's free. In a lot of cases, if someone's searching for your business, the fact that that social media presence will show up in the search, it's golden for you and your business, right? And of course, you can always promote your business on your personal page, but... Listen, your business is being set up as its own entity. It needs its own name. And guess what? It's going to also need its own presence. So yes, definitely make sure not only are you registering your business with the state, 
it, because now you've got a name for it, right? So not only that, but go ahead and set up your social media presence with that information, with that business name. And not only just set it up, take it to the next step and go ahead and post information relevant to that business. Whatever the services are that you're providing in this business that you're setting up, go ahead and promote that right on your social media. Go ahead, post a few posts, get some reels going, put that on your social media so that when people are searching for someone in your area that provides that service, you can show up. So don't just stop there, right? Like I said, go ahead and get registered. Go ahead and get that social media presence going. Go ahead and get those posts going. Go ahead. And then the next step is to just really promote yourself, right? Don't just get those things set up and believe that now it's just about people coming to you. No, make connections. Even as simple as LinkedIn, you can make connections with other businesses that are relevant to what you're providing. You can go right on LinkedIn and make connections, request those connections with others. You can do that. And I don't usually talk about LinkedIn, but LinkedIn is a really good place to go to make good business connections. You should be utilizing every platform, but today I really wanted to talk about LinkedIn, connecting with other businesses on LinkedIn, because this is a platform where, hey, there are other businesses also doing the same thing, making those connections. They're also posting about their services. They're posting about their business there. So don't neglect that as well. It allows people to be able also to see you as the business owner there and make that personal connection with you and your business. Because a lot of times people, even on LinkedIn, need those services that you provide. So definitely don't just neglect it, that platform. Go right on there. Yes, as many of the social medias as you can, make sure that you're, you're posting your information there. But definitely, LinkedIn is a really good place to provide information about your business and connect with other business owners. So, again, don't just, you know, think about doing it. Jump out there. Go ahead and make those efforts. Make those efforts to get that business name. To, to create a business name, to get it registered, to get your social media presence set up, and to make some connections. Now, if you want more information about permit running services, about providing those permit running services, definitely I offer a boot camp wherein we talk about different things, about marketing strategies, about pricings, about your role as the permit runner. So definitely, if you want more information about that service, you can feel free. I'll leave the link below in the comment section for that permit runner boot camp workshop. So you can definitely take advantage of that information and not only get your business started, but have some grounding, some footing under you so that you can go ahead and now you have information, you have knowledge, you know more about what you should be doing and the prices you should be setting for your services. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, definitely feel free to leave them below in the comments section. And I look forward to chit-chatting with you later.